When I ask most high performers like you all, is giving your best effort, is that a choice? Most people proudly puff up their chest and acknowledge yes. Working hard is a choice, and I agree with you. But if working hard is a choice, by default, there has to be another side of that coin, which means not working hard, that's also a choice. Pain that you go through is temporary, but the greatness on the other side is forever. And I love that quote because it's the thing that we always got to constantly remember. And if we could just get past that pain threshold, uh, training, whatever it is, and on the other side of that, man, is the good shit. It's the greatness. So get past that threshold and get to your greatness. There's only two things in this world that every single one of us has 100% control over 100% of the time. That's our effort and our attitude. But we need to learn how to focus on the two things that we have 100% control over. And any time we spend focus on, or let's be honest, worried about things that are not in our control, it will adversely affect the things that are in our control. I built muscle over the years so that it's not that I don't have feelings, I don't get hurt, I don't feel sad, I don't feel tired, I feel all those things, but they're not the dominant force in my life. It's a muscle. The mind is a muscle. Emotion is a muscle. It's not that I'm so great, just I'm well trained. I trained <laughs> this mind. You know how people negotiate, well, maybe I'll do it tomorrow, I'm gonna do this, or oh, let me wait two more minutes till I'm ready. There's none of that shit with me. For decades, I go, I say, we do. I'm not here to discuss this shit with my mind. There's mind, and then there's soul and spirit. And soul and spirit, my soul fucking knows. And when I say jump, you fucking jump. I'm not here to have a discussion with you. Most people, whether it's a teammate, a colleague, a coworker, a student, a, a player, when you hold them accountable for not giving their best effort, the first thing they'll do is make an excuse on why they're not working hard. The next thing they'll do is they'll blame someone or something for the conditions and why they're not working hard. And I can promise you that the moment you leave that conversation, they are going to complain about you for the fact that you're holding them accountable to something that is 100% in their control. So I told you before, that trilogy will undermine your ability to be the best you can be. So we all need to acknowledge that working hard is a choice, but not working hard is also a choice. And as you can probably guess, the key to high performance is choosing to work as hard as possible as often as possible. Being successful is so hard, but I realized that not being successful was hard too. The difference between not being successful hard and trying to get successful and hard, if you're trying to get successful and it's hard, at least there's some payout. There's a payoff. If you hang in there, there's payoff. So if it's hard that way and it's hard being successful, I might as well deal with how hard it is to be successful because at least one day there could be a payout. It's a decision, man. I'm not bragging. I'm telling you the truth. This is fact. You think I'm playing? I dare you. Try it. I dare you.